So, 6 dice are rolled together, find the number of ways in which the sum of 24 is obtained. So, here see the die can show the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is what the die can show. So, we have 6 dice. So, what we are doing is the number on, I mean, the top face on each of the dice we are considering it as x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6. So, x1 is for the number obtained on first die, x2 for the number on die 2, x3, die 3, x4, die 4, x5, die 5, x6 is die 6. So, the total should be equal to 24. So, this question we are going to solve by generating functions. So, the generating function for each die because the dice will have the same number, right? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is what is written on the dice. So, the generating function is x power 1 plus x power 2 plus x power 3 plus x power 4 plus x power 5 plus x power 6 because the dice, I mean the number on any face, I mean all faces are equiprobable, right? So, any face can be obtained in only one way because we cannot, uh, I mean the f f die with phase 1 ha is I mean the probability with which the phase 1 falls is equal to the probability with which the phase 2 falls, phase 3 same. So, that is why we are writing x power 1 plus x power 2, x power 3, x power 4, x power 5, x power 6. So, we have 6 dice. So, what we want is coefficient of coefficient of x power 24 and x power 1 plus x power 2 plus x power 3 plus x power 4 plus x power 5 plus x power 6. This is for one die. So, we have 6 dice. So, raised to the power 6. So, here this is gp. So, I can take x out first. So, x power 6 into 1 plus x plus x square x cube x power 4 x power 5 whole power 6. So, x power 6 into this is gp. So, 1 minus x power 6 by 1 minus x whole power 6. So, this is x power 6 into 1 minus x power 6 whole power 6 into 1 minus x whole power minus 6. So, if I try to expand this, so this is direct binomial expansion. So, if I use binomial expansion 1 minus 6 e 1 into x power 6 plus 6 e 2 into x power 12 minus 6 e 3 into x power 18 plus 6 e 4 into x power 24 minus 6 e 5 into x power 30 plus 6 e 6 into x power 36. This is for this. So, we want to expand this also. So, if I want to expand that, so it is 1 plus 6 e 1 into x plus 7 c 2 into x square plus 8 c 3 into x cube plus 9 c 4 into x power 4 so on till infinity because 1 minus x whole power minus n will go to infinity. So, what we want is I will multiply x power 6 inside. So, if I multiply x power 6 inside, so it will be x power 6 minus 6 e 1 into x power 12 plus 6 e 2 into x power 18 minus 6 e 3 into x power 24 plus 6 e 4 into x power 30 minus 6 e 5 into x power 36 plus 6 e 6 into x power 42 into 1 plus 6 e 1 x plus 7 c 2 x square plus 8 c 3 x cube plus 9 c 4 x power 4 so on. So, here we are multiplying this. So, see if I want x power, if I have x power 6 here x power 12, x power 18, x power 24. After that x power 30, 36, 42 are there. So, what we want is only coefficient of x power 24, right? So, after 24, whatever we have, we can neglect that because here we are having positive powers, we do not have negative powers, right? So, 30, 36, 42 will not contribute at all. So, what we can do is directly we can remove those terms. So, directly we can consider only first four terms multiplied by 1 plus 6 e 1 into x plus 7 c 2 x square so on. So, if I have x power 6 here, what I want here x power 18. So, if I want x power 18, if I look at the general term of the series, so from the general term see if x power 4 is there, 4 here will come and the difference of these two is 5. So, here also difference is 5. So, 
what we want is coefficient of x power 6 if uh, x power 6 is there x power 18 we want so 18 and the difference is 5 so 23 23 c 18 minus 61 here we have x power 12 so here we want x power 12 so 12 plus 5 17 c 12 plus 6 c 2 x power 18 is there so we want x power 6 here so 11 c 6 minus 6 c 3 x power 24 is there so only 1 so this is the answer but see this is bit lengthy to calculate right so what we do is we will solve the same question in other manner so what i consider is we will start this generating i mean to solve this because what is the maximum sum which we can obtain here 36 right because 6 6 6 6 36 so it is closer to the maximum sum no the least sum is 6 so least is 6 maximum is 36 so 24 is closer to the largest value so we will solve this question by reconsidering this equation so what we do is instead of x i, I mean i will write x i is equal to 6 i minus i mean uh, no y i is equal to 6 minus x i i will write I will consider y i equal to 6 minus x i. So, it means y 1 is 6 minus x 1, y 2 is so 6 minus x 2. So, y 1 plus y 2 plus y 3 plus y 4 plus y 5 plus y 6 is equal to so 6 36 minus x 1 plus x 2 so on to x 6. So, this is 36 minus 24 which is 12. So, now what where y i will belong to? So, x i belongs to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So, y i belong to 6 minus x i. So, it means so 6 minus x i, so 6 minus 6, 0, 6 minus 5, 1, 4, 2, so on to 5. So, now we can write the new generating function. So, what we want is coefficient of x power 12 in x power 0 x power 1 so on to x power 5 this is the new generating function for y i and we have 6 so power 6 so this if i simplify it it is 1 minus x power 6 by 1 minus x whole power 6 so this is 1 minus x power 6 whole power 6 into 1 minus x whole power minus 6 so this if i write it it will be 1 minus 6 c 1 x power 6 plus 6 c 2 x power 12. So, so what we discuss here is the higher powers will not contribute at all. So, here also after that the higher powers will not contribute. So, this is the same 1 minus x whole power minus 6 will get the same thing 1 plus 6 c 1 x plus 7 c 2 x square. So, 1 plus 6 c 1 x plus 7 c 2 x square plus 8 c 3 x cube so on. So, this I want only x power 12 coefficient. So, if I want x power 12 coefficient here 1 is there. So, x power 12 will 17 c 12 because that is what we observed here. No? So, 17 c 12 minus 6 c 1 x power 6 we have. So, we want x power 6 here. So, x power 6 is 11 c 6. Again what we have here is 6 c 2. So, 6 c 2 into x power 12 is there. So, if you want x power 6 coefficient here. If I want x power 6 coefficient, so no here x power 12 is there no directly. So, 6 c 2 into directly 1. So, this and this are mathematically same. So, if you try to evaluate it both will give you the same answer. So, this question we are starting from the maximum and I mean indirectly we are starting from the maximum value of the function because here what we did is directly writing the generating function we are getting a bit lengthy answer. So, what we did is we simplified the generating function by considering that as the maximum minus the given variable. So, the maximum minus given variable will give me I mean the least number of steps. So, if you solve like this whenever the ma uh, I mean the answer is closer to the maximum value we can work with this kind of approach.